Constance Beecham, oh, you are I'm not arresting serious. you on the suspicion of the murder of Alfred Maxwell. You do not have to say anything, what? but you it may harm your defence if you do not let you, when questioned, something that you later rely on. Can you tell me this isn't personal? Is that a wit? Mrs. Constance Beach. Thank you, Mrs. Beach. We are questioning you with regard to the death of Alfred Maxwell. You were the last person to see him alive, is that correct? Huh. And I feel so real. I was in a state of mind. He was dying. So he was hardly on top of the world. It's a phone up. And how about you, sir? You made a mistake. This has gone too far now. He was already dying of severe pneumonia. I did everything I could. It was... It was a losing battle, so I called it. You put him out of his misery? It wasn't a dog at the vets. Did he ask you to the night before? Did he say he wanted you? So you had that conversation? You're telling me you talked openly about how he would die, am I right? Yes or no? It was just words. Station, find out what's going on. And? And I thought Connie would be out by now. Connie should be out by now. She's guilty, Charlie. You have to retract your statement. What? And what worries me is you might have misinterpreted the intention. I didn't. So you didn't know what you wanted? Yes, but I refused to consider it. Ah, but you did consider it, didn't you? Why don't you start telling the truth, Mrs. Beecher? I am. You assisted Alfred's death. No. You told you. to be stopped now. We can wrap this up any time you like. Just admit to what you did. I cared for a friend. That is all. You saw him lying there without much of a light and a light went on. You were calling us, Miss Freeman. Didn't mean to. I didn't feel I had a choice. You said you had concrete proof. Do you believe in euthanasia? I can't say I've given it much thought. Some sense. And my colleague, D.S. Mangrove, asked, what would you say Mrs. Beach should take on euthanasia was? Next question. I'd like you to answer this one first. And did well, she say she was for it? Mr. Fairhead. Uh, she said, under the right circumstances, Yes, it was a good idea. Thank you. But she's not allowed. Not at liberty to say. You look worried, Mrs. Beecham. You should be. It's all there in black and white. Please, you have to believe me. I, I may have given him two tablets, but uh, it was two only. I swear. Just the two. Or was it more? No, it was a therapeutic dose. I mean, it was not enough to kill him. But you had them with you when you visited Mr. Maxwell? Yes, yes. Yes, I did, and I thought I could go through with it and help him, give him what he wanted, but I, I, I couldn't. I backed out. I, I told him I couldn't do it. You seriously want me to believe you stopped halfway? I did. 
I didn't even get that far. It was just to ease his agitation. It was just two pills. I don't believe you. I think you gave him a lot. Right. I can prove it. You go to my office. The drawer under my desk. You'll well, see the bit of the packet there. There are two missing. But the rest is still there. I mean, I, I don't know how. Rita. I just needed to get these. Way, please. Excuse me? Pills weren't there. What do you mean they weren't there? They have to be here. It's exactly where I left them. Mrs. Beach. Happy now? Think you've made a difference? Constance Beecham, you are charged with the murder of Alfred Maxwell contrary to common law. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention now something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in Take her down, please, officer. Why did you... I didn't, I didn't do... I, I didn't do anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. This crippled bird's gonna sing, gonna bring you all the years. This quick turn around, look. Your shadow's cooking up beautiful lies for you. It's what they do. And I feel... Do you really hate her that much? 